Waited for with great anterior. There's also some additional uh, in, in whether he should lift or not. Oh, and dark blue front. Thousand fans crammed in here. Like sight that certainly could have been held out. No doubt of that. Landed. And there's one. Mandy yet, but I think he's trying to find young men on the line, and that's all that's on sides. But these two fellas, are two, and it's, nobody should boo either one of these. The body and brought it up top. One. And it will certainly get hotter as the afternoon. Round number two, scheduled for 15 for the lightweight championship of the world. WB Mancini, the challenger on the left. Aguilio jab out to set Mancini up and bring punches up when he slips the jab. So far, this fight has been just a chess match. One guy waiting to see. Mancini, he comes out. Come out and really storm Aguilio. They must change his strategy. We haven't seen it thus far. They were also both trying to maintain a pace. Mancini, one is that left hook and the other is the right hand coming up. Right hand landed to the cheekbone of Man Brady here at ringside live on CBS Sports Saturday. Well, he's hitting the mark much better in this round. You're right, you only throws two or three because if he does, Aguilio will give it to him. That's right. Round WBC lightweight champion, the challenger, Alexis Arguello on the left, the champion. This round, because it usually takes about three rounds for the round. Ronald Brady with Joe Clancy. From Arguello, backed up Mancini. Mancini had to get inside to do his work. The cool advantage working in Arguello at this point? Yes, sir, absolutely, because he's got a comment about that. Yes, I did. his nose has been bothering all during training, Tim. It, it, it's a very minor uh, nose problem. The hospital, it bleeds quite readily, and it's not figured to be a great uh, problem. That nose bled, and uh, the fight was... The same Ray Man really has to become a hurricane. Really try to overwhelm our brother. Believe him. Taking off his jab, less than a minute to go around. Possibly from good combination scored by Mancini and a good left back. The champion, final second. Whale open with a combination that scored, but Mancini came right back. The Valley Park Place Casino Hotel. See with his light. Mancini is on the attack again, but he's uh and he's landing, but he's not cutting out the ring as I talked about earlier. Now he turned out. Beautiful move by Mancini. Step over to the right. Looks like that left now. Scoring underneath and up top. To the left eye of the champion. On alert at all times. Good description of this outstanding champion, the Matador. But the little bull isn't doing bad either, Tim. <laughs> Stations along the line will be going. been established yet. Neither man has uh, dominated the other one. That jump is for the right to the head. And Cini, see little kid. Will we turn with rap words from your local station? The climax right at the bell by that Left underneath and lightweight championship bout. Mancini the challenger in green on the left of your score. Tony Perez does not figure in the scoring. Straight left jab from Arguello. Good left hook. That was superior. Mancini has been staying out and would not let his man fight inside. That hasn't been a factor because he hasn't been in there very much. Well, that's a sign of a good referee, Tim. A fellow that stays out of the action. Or only one of them landed, Tim. <laughs> oh, look at the end of this fifth round. Right hand scored, although most of the power is dissipated. But he did pass. Man 
Lawrence here, as I, I believe, with one punch, the rally, and then all of a sudden find yourself. You see that big left hook by, by Mancini. Throws a right hand, it comes back. This is round number six, scheduled for 15. He'll show off more of those right hands that Mancini's thrown. Continue to use that right hand. I've seen him throw a lot of good hooks. He needs to go back to the well. Back. This it staggered him. WBC lightweight championship. City, New Jersey, a packed house here in the hotel ballroom. His right eye is starting to show some madness. Think about now, Ray should really go into high gear and start. Alexis Arguello are looking a little shaky. He's been fighting professionally since 1960. He's fighting very, very young. With a flurry, 16th title bout. For so well, he keeps moving from the bottom his waist up. Foreground, the champion arc. Left hook, right hand. Left how well Aguayo pays attention to his grip. Mancini. But it's good instructions. You got to go. manager is Eduardo, the manager of Mancini, very much in evidence as he's objecting to the selection of the judges. Found it. Sean, this round, dead. Those old legs, you have to keep backing them up. But you got to keep it. Aguayo is missing for this match. He's not landing on the button as he had before. Mancini is cleaning up. Into the ropes, landed a good combination. Uppercut for the chest of Mancini. Kid with as little experience as he had, he really does a job well. Look at Chad. You got a man with 20 fights fighting. Less than a minute to go. Oh, Short a little bit. Ar Arguello has got that big punch with the joint hurt in a situation like that. Like this, because uh, points in my estimation. Final second, seventh round for Arguello. In that seventh round, our that's why our guts that he was last round. Rage. You can't let these old guys come forward, Tim. And also, again, he's been fighting for 13 years. Heavy weights, guys can get away with it. Oh, they got one big punch now. He's stalking me. Jose Mayorga and Roberto Ramirez. Everything of BC lightweight crown just took the left uppercut from Arguello, the champion on the right of his screen. You've been seeing it. Arguello has come back with the take quite effectively. Not getting as many, as many punches thrown out of me this show, and that's why you can see. Our analyst Sean O'Grady on a call against Larry Holm. We'd like to alert our stations along the line at the end of second station break. Good solid left back. Mancini up. Both men. Now Mancini is back. He's got Arguello backing up again. Mancini. Tim, as Sean said, he can't fight any other way. He has to crowd. After these upcoming nine, and right at the end of that round, Arguello complaining that he had been thumbed by Mancini, indicating it was accidentally. See a good. Well, apparently Arguello was not. Damage, his vision was not damaged by it. He appears to be all right. And we are now in round 10, and they come out with a furious paint. Tim, it's a pier six ball right now. Punch for punch. Seeing he still has no marks on him. And round action in this lightweight. Tim, he can't stay like chest for Aguello, though. That's Aguello's game. Well, maybe the left eye. We'll have a 30 second station break at the end of this round. Beautiful left hook right on a button, and here he's his mouth wide open, Tim, which is a sign he's getting tired. A tough exchange of punches from round 10. We scored it an even. See, they both landed in that exchange. The arm. He's very close at this point. The thing man said he can't he cannot do. He cannot come in without punching. He's tried to do that a couple of times this round. He has to move in behind punches. Well landed a good right yes, hand. Ray is has to be a well, this is the championship distance, 15 rounds. Separate the men. Lightweight championship bout, and uh, David Wolf, who was here for goals 15, and what we see right hand, see the challenger on the right of your screen. Arguello on the left. 
a gap from Arguello Lamb. Mancini needs these left. The fight practically even. I, I, for him to let's let's uh, understate exactly what the judging situation is. Eva Shane is from Fort Lee, New Jersey, Angeles, and the third judge is from Puerto Rico, with the Latin champion. Nothing seems to rattle Arguello. Flurries, whatever. He stays cool. Win or lose, he stays cool in there. And he scored a combination. 30 seconds to go round 12. Good 20. Coming to the end of round 12. There is big right hand. And Mancini wobbled at the bell. There Over hand right. That's that what happens. When you get knocked out, you lose all your senses of direction. Also, the legs going. You get good punch because he did not go off. With about five seconds left in the round. Let's see if he comes up. Mancini to try to clear his head. Tim uh, Mancini now here in this 13th round. Chance to put away his challenger. Oh, he can take a shot. Champion. Mancini has taken the play away from the champion. From round six on, with one exception that we saw at Arguello. This is where the professionalism comes in in Arguello. He's taking his time trying to set it right in. Probably pretty good right now. Put it back down. That hook landed from Arguello. Mancini. Some difficulty now. With he's, a, he's a little wobbly. He really doesn't know what he's doing in it. Not at all on the punches that he has thrown either in this round. Mancini. So it's truly up to happen his punches anymore. It does look a little more alert, a little more bright-eyed this round than he did in round 13. 14, anything can happen. But it appears that the champion has turned the tide from about the midway point in this fight. He landed He's up hurt again, left. Jim. He's hurt he badly hurt. this time. Here he goes. Right hand sent him down, but it was two strong lefts, and that's it. Tony Jim. Perez says that. Hard well. He shot the left hook, then he came back with another right hand. And then I believe another left hook. There it was. And from the first from the first punch that Ray Mancini got, got hit with, he was out. Well, here we go. Look at him drop that right hand underneath to set up the left hook. Now Ray doesn't know where he is at all and just got hit. Fighter. He, he let uh, Mancini take control in the first rounds. Let Mancini get excited. Let Mancini uh, get hyper about winning the title. Let him get out in front. There's that. And still, the WBC lightweight champion, Alexei Arguello. Arguello.